Good evening, everybody. Can you give me just a second? Me regalan solo un momentito, por favor. Good evening. Sure, teacher. Good evening. Okay, everybody, thank you. Um, let's begin. Okay, now I'm going to start the presentation. And uh, first thing, I'm going to call the attendance. Just a moment. Okay, there it is. All right, when you hear your name, please let me know you're here. Ada Veronica Muñoz de Fuentes. Ada Veronica Muñoz de Fuentes. Alexis Giovanni Ramos Rosales. Present teacher. Thank you. Alicia Pérez Gavidia. Alicia Pérez Gavidia. Blanca Esmeralda Flores Ortez. Blanca Esmeralda Flores Cortés. Cortés, I'm sorry. Cecilio Antonio Cortés Escobar. Present teacher. Thank you. Consuelo Enriqueta Aquino de Salazar. Consuelo Enriqueta Aquino de Salazar. Delmi Alexandra Ramos Cruz. Delmi Alexandra Ramos Cruz. Idalia Margarita García Cruz. Present, present. Thank you. Isaac Adbonay Tobar. Isaac Adbonay Tobar. Jennifer Nuset Arevalo Flores. Jennifer Nuset Arevalo Flores. Juan Antonio Brand de Paz. Thank you. Catherine Andreina Perez Cruz. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Alfredo Aguilar Beltrán. Luis Alfredo Aguilar Beltrán. Luis Enrique Palma Alvarado. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Luis Josué Valle Hernández. Luis Josué Valle Hernández. María Magdalena Méndez Méndez. Presente. Thank you. Marina Amaya de Mata. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Marjorie Marilyn Martínez Grijalba. Marjorie Marilyn Martínez Grijalba. Miguel Antonio Rodríguez Rosales. Present. Thank you. Nelson Eduardo Alfaro Roque. Present. Thank you. Noé Ezequiel Rivera Medrano. Noé Ezequiel Rivera Medrano. Olivia Raquel Rodríguez Benítez. Present. Thank you. Oscar Alexander Domínguez Herrera. Present. Thank you. Oscar Mauricio Rivera Aguilar. Oscar Mauricio Rivera Aguilar. Pablo Josué Cornejo Ramírez.
Pablo Josué Cornejo Ramírez. Stephanie Brendalí Vázquez Méndez. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Voy a llamar a aquellos que no me han contestado aún. Vamos. Ada Verónica Muñoz de Fuentes. Present, teacher. Thank you. Alicia Pérez Gavidia. Present, teacher. Thank you. Blanca Esmeralda Flores Ortez. Blanca Esmeralda Flores Ortez. Consuelo Enriqueta Aquino de Salazar. Consuelo Enriqueta Aquino de Salazar. Telmi Alexandra Ramos Cruz. Telmi Alexandra Ramos Cruz. Isaac Adbonay Tobar. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Jennifer Nuset Arevalo Flores. Jennifer Nuset Arevalo Flores. Luis Alfredo Aguilar Beltrán. Present, teacher. Thank you. Luis Josué Valle Hernández. Luis Josué Valle Hernández. Marjorie Marilyn Martínez Grijalba. Marjorie Marilyn Martínez Grijalba. Noé Ezequiel Rivera Medrano. Noé Ezequiel Rivera Medrano. Olivia Raquel Rodríguez Benítez. No, perdón, ya me había contestado ella. Oscar Mauricio Rivera Aguilar. Oscar Mauricio Rivera Aguilar. Pablo Josué Cornejo Ramírez. Ok. Comenzamos entonces. Everybody, take a look at this. This is Inglés Pre-Intermedio, módulo 1, and that's me, Iván Doñán, at your service. This is session number six, and today is May the 30th of 2023. Ok. Take a good look. ¿Qué vamos a hacer acá? Un repaso de lo que vimos el día de ayer. Veamos. Tenemos this, that, these, and those. This is singular. Ok. You say, do you like this picture? Lo puede sostener, lo puede tocar. Por lo tanto, se dice this y es singular. Do you like this picture? Luis Josué Valle ya se nos unió acá. Vamos a ponerle asistencia. Thank you. And then you have these. These is the plural form. These flowers are for you. Las tiene en su mano, las puede tocar, las alcanza. Así que these flowers are for you. So you say this and these. This picture means this picture here. These flowers, these flowers here. But then you have that singular. Do you like that picture? Okay, está lejitos, más alcance de su mano. No lo puede tocar, no lo puede sostener. Do you like that picture? And the plural, those. Who are those people? Okay, están lejitos, no los alcanzo. So who are those people? No es Ezequiel, está por acá ya. Vamos acá a ponerle asistencia. Thank you, no es. Okay, vamos. Who are those people? So when you say that and those, that means that picture, aquí pueden ver el nombrecito, está apuntando lejos. That picture, that picture there, allá, o allí, ¿verdad? Those people, those people there, esas personas, por allá. Marjorie, ya está por acá. Thank you, Marjorie. Okay, this is our review. Ya habíamos visto esto. Now, take a look at this. You can use this, that, these, and those with a noun. Por ejemplo, cuando usted dice this picture, those girls, etc. Or without a noun. Sin un sustantivo. Se puede ocupar con un sustantivo o sin él. Okay? Entonces usted dice, this hotel is expensive, but it's nice. Usted dice, this hotel. Who is that girl, demonstrative and noun. I don't know. Do you like these shoes? 
I bought them last week. Tenemos these y el noun shoes. Those apples look nice. Can I have one? You say those apples. Hotel, girl, shoes, and apples are nouns. Aquí pueden ver que se utiliza con un sustantivo, with a noun. But now look, you can say this, y si con un sustantivo, this is a nice hotel, but it's very expensive. Excuse me, is this your bag? Oh, yes, thank you. Who's that? ¿Quién es ese? O oh, ¿Quién es esa? Okay, that means who's that person? Which shoes do you like better? These or those? Y aquí pueden ver que se pueden ocupar los demonstratives sin necesidad que vayan con un noun. Así que pueden ir con él o sin él, dependiendo de las circunstancias. Now look at this. One and once. Give me a moment, please. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. One and once. One is singular. Only one thing. You say, which one do you want? ¿Para qué utilizamos one? Para no repetir la palabra hat. Están viendo sombreros los dos. Así que es innecesario decir la palabra hat porque los dos saben que están viendo sombreros, que están hablando sobre sombreros. Entonces dice, which one do you want? En vez de decir, which hat do you want? And he says, this one. Este de aquí, ¿verdad? Este. En vez de decir, this hat, dice, this one. So, which one means which hat? One can be a hat, a car, a flower, a person, etc. Which car is yours? ¿Cuál carro es tuyo? This one or that one? ¿Para qué ocupamos one? Aquí, para no repetir la palabra car una y otra vez. Quedaría muy repetitivo, muy, muy, uh, muy redundante si decimos, which car is yours? This car or that car? Dijo car tres veces seguidas. Para evitarlo, ocupamos one. This one or that one? That means this car or that car. Then you have the word ones. That's the plural form. Ones. Y aquí tiene muchas flores ella. So, which ones do you want? ¿Cuáles quiere? Okay, which ones do you want? And he says, the white ones. No es necesario decir flowers porque están hablando de flowers, están viendo las flores. Así que no es necesario mencionarlo. Which ones do you want? And he says, the white ones, las blancas. So, which ones means which flowers? Ones. Could be hats, plural, cars, plural, flowers, plural, people. Be careful with the word people, okay? People is a plural noun. Vamos a quitar esto. Okay, the singular form is, we're going to write it here, singular, then plural. Singular is person. Plural is people. Ok. La palabra en singular es person. La palabra en plural es people. Así que person, persona, people, personas. Ok. That's plural. So, ones can be hats, cars, flowers, people, etc. Which flowers do you want? These or those? O oh, usted puede decir simplemente these ones or those ones. Estas o aquellas. Also, we studied this. You say the one. I don't like the blue jacket, but I like the brown one. No me gusta la chaqueta azul, pero me gusta la marrón o me gusta la café. Right? Don't buy that camera. Buy the other one. No compres esa cámara, compra la otra, okay? Buy the other one. You can use A and N, indefinite article. Just a moment, okay. This cup is dirty. Can I have a clean one? Me pueden dar una limpia? Th that cookie was good. I'm going to eat another one. Voy a comer otra, dice, otra galleta. Then you have the and ones in plural. I don't like the red shoes. Shoes is a plural noun. But I like the green ones. Pero me gustan los verdes. Don't buy those apples. 
buy the other ones. No compres esas manzanas, compra las otras. And then you have some and ones, okay? Indefinite article, un artículo indefinido, que quiere decir unos o unas. These cups are dirty. Can we have some clean ones? Nos pueden dar unas limpias, okay? My shoes are old. I'm going to buy some new ones. Voy a comprar unos nuevos. Okay. Can you give me one second, please? Un segundito, por favor. Sorry, small emergency. Okay, I'm back. Uh, por acá me dicen que están teniendo problemas de internet. Okay, que la pantalla se congela. Okay, thank you for letting me know. Okay, perdonen la interrupción. Una pequeña dificultad acá. Okay, so you say some and ones. My shoes are very old. I'm going to buy some new ones. E hicimos este ejercicio. Excuse me, how much are those jeans? Which ones? Do you mean these or the black, the dark blue ones? No, the light blue ones. Que okay, los azul claro o los celestes. So, oh, these are $59.95, almost 60. Are you kidding? And the second exercise, I like that backpack over there. How much is it? Which one? The red one. It's $27.49. But the green one, or this green one, is only $22.25. And he says, okay, let me see it, please. Okay. Hicimos este ejercicio también. Lo repetimos. Okay. Ahora veamos este. Complete these conversations with how much is, how much are. And this, that, these, those. De que depende. If it's singular, you say how much is. If it's plural, you say how much are. Y luego va a utilizar los demonstratives dependiendo. This and that, singular. These, those, plural. The, this and these, near. That and those, far. So, number one, ahí ve que lo está sosteniendo con su mano. Entonces dice, how much is this backpack? It's $31.99. Okay? Que es lo que habíamos visto ayer también. You say, how much are those bracelets? They're $29. Okay? How much are these shoes? They're $64. How much is that cat? That's my cat and he's not for sale. Okay? Let's uh, choose. How about this one? Choose the correct words to complete the conversations. The clerk says, good afternoon. And Luis says, oh, hi. How much is this or these? It's a watch. It's only one watch, so it's singular. You say, how much is this watch? Okay. What about the next one? Raise your hand if you know the answer. Miguel Antonio and then Luis Enrique. The clerk says, Here is it. It's $195. That's correct. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Luis, me quería participar? No? Different person then? Raise your hand. Marjorie. How much is that one? Okay. And how much is that one? Okay. Ese de ahí, ¿verdad? How much is that one? Okay. Thank you. Marjorie. 
Player it two hundred. Ay, se me olvidó. And fifty five. It's two hundred and fifty five dollars. And Luis says, "Oh, really? Well, thanks anyway. Okay, too expensive. Thank you. What about the next conversation? Okay." I need two volunteers. Necesito dos voluntarios para que la lean completa. Okay, Marjorie, you are Meg. Okay, and I need someone else, someone else to be the clerk. Que es el encargado, verdad? Who wants to be the clerk? Hay que leer toda la conversación. I need a volunteer, please. Ada Veronica. Okay, so Marjorie, you are Meg, and Ada Veronica, you're the clerk. Let's begin. Excuse me, how much how much are that jeans? How much are that jeans? Okay, well, let's take a look. How much are jeans? Those is, jeans. Uh -huh, those, those jeans, those, because those jeans, jeans, is, jeans. A, is a plural noun. Okay, so okay. those jeans. Very good. And the clerk says? Ada? It's only... 59? 59. But look, 59. jeans, that's plural, not singular. It's plural. So you say? Oh, they're, they're, they're only 59. They're only $59. Okay, thank you. Marjorie. And how much is this sweater? And how much is this sweater? Okay. This sweater, singular. This okay. Sweater. So, Ada? Which one, they're all different? Which one? They're all different. And Meg says? It's green one. This green one. Okay. And? It's, it's 34. It's 34 dollars. Okay. Thank you very much. Así está, ¿verdad? Excuse me, how much are those jeans? The clerk says, they're only $59. Meg says, and how much is this sweater? The clerk says, which one? They are all different. Meg says, this green one. The clerk says, it's $34. Thank you. I need two more volunteers for this. Dos voluntarios. Catherine and Oscar Mauricio. Okay, Catherine, you are Sonia. Oscar Mauricio, you are the clerk. Okay. I like those sunglasses over there. I like those sunglasses over there. Good. And the clerk says? Uh, which ones? Which ones? Mm -hmm. The small brown one. We're talking about glasses, plural. So you say the small brown. The small brown ones. Ones, okay. The small brown ones, okay. The clerk says. They're um, one hundred ninety nine. They're a hundred and ninety nine dollars, okay. Oh, they're expensive. They're expensive, okay. La fregado comprar lentes de casi 200 dólares. <laughs> Pero mejor voy al super. Okay, so here we go. This is what we're going to do. Okay, add prices to the items. Okay, then ask and answer, you know, uh, questions. Okay, this is the knowledge check. Por cierto, okay. By the way, here's, uh, let me show you in the website. Just a second, here's my tea. I have to have some tea. Okay. Just give me a second as it's, it's loading 3.4. So far away. Okay. Three point four. Okay, this is an extra exercise. You have eighty-six ninety-nine. Okay, you say how much are these sunglasses? Y le pregunto el otro, which ones? 
the pink ones. They're $86.99. You say, that's expensive. Okay. So, what about this one? I need two volunteers to play this conversation. Solo que ahora va a preguntar por estos lentes negritos y le va a poner un precio. Vamos, un poquito improvisado. Marina Amaya. And then Marjorie. Okay. Who wants to begin? ¿Quién quiere empezar ahí? Yo. Okay. How much are these black sunglasses? Okay. Pero eh, tal vez sería mejor no decir black sunglasses porque entonces ya no le va, ya no le va a poder hacer la pregunta. Le va a decir cuáles. <ríe> los negros. Ya le dije que los negros los que quiero. Ajá. ¿Cómo sería entonces? How much are these sunglasses? Nada más. Veamos. Again. Comenzamos de vuelta. Okay. How much are these sunglasses? Which ones? Oh, you see. The black ones. The black ones. Okay. The black ones. They're one hundred dollar. Wow. That's expensive. That's expensive. Okay. All right. <laughs> Now look, some useful expressions that you can use are that's cheap. That's cheap. Barato. That's reasonable. Okay. O sea, ni barato ni caro. Es razonable el precio. You can say that's okay. That's okay. Or you can say that's not bad. And that's expensive. So está caro, please. Okay, I need uh, two more volunteers, two different people for the next conversation. You have the orange cell phone. Okay, Katherine, Andreina, and who else? ¿Quién más me va a ayudar? Oscar Mauricio. And then Blanca Esmeralda, you go for the next one. No bajen la mano. Okay, no bajen la mano. <laughs> okay, Katherine, Andreina, and Oscar Mauricio. Let's do it. Okay, yo inicio. Uh -huh. Ladies first. Okay. How much are these cell phones? Okay, cuidado, solo es un teléfono. Por lo tanto, how much? Okay. Okay, yes. How much are... Uh... Are lo utilizamos en plural. En singular vamos a utilizar is. Okay, how much, how much is this cell phone? Mm -hmm. Nos quedaría así, ¿verdad? How much is, how much is this cell phone? Cell phone. Mm -hmm. How much is this cell phone? Ajá, ¿y qué le va a contestar? Oscar Mauricio. Which one? Which one, okay. Which one? The blue one. The blue one. Ah, pero ahorita vamos con este, con el anaranjadito. Okay, I'm sorry. The It's red okay. is an anaranjado. Oh, oh yo lo veo rojo. Well, o oh, rojo, okay, no hay problema. Uh -huh. The what? The red one. The red one, okay. What's the answer? Um, This red... Um... $50. Ok, pero veamos. Si ustedes veían la anterior, decía they are. Ahora, como solo es uno, ¿qué vamos a decir? Decimos it's. It is, right? It's $50. Ok. ¿Y qué va a decir por allá, Catherine Andreina? ¿Qué le parece el precio? That's uh, reasonable. Ok, that's reasonable. Ok, that's reasonable. Ok, thank you. Thank you, Catherine and Oscar. Now, Blanca Esmeralda is going to help us. And I need a volunteer, another volunteer. 
¿Quién nos ayuda? ¿Quién le ayuda a Blanca Esmeralda? Ok, Isaac, Albonay, Tobar. Let's do this. Eh, comienzo yo. Ladies first. How much, uh, how much is this cell phone? Blue? Uh, no. How much, how much is this cell phone? Uh -huh. Which one? Which, which the, one? The uh -huh. blue cell phone. Ajá, uh -huh. en vez de decir cell phone, ¿qué palabra vamos a utilizar? The, uh, the blue ones. Ones or one? One. One. One, porque solo es uno. Okay, so, okay. how much is this cell phone? Le pregunta Isaac, which one? Huh. Y dice Blanca, the blue one, porque solo the es un teléfono. Un teléfono. Uh -huh. It is seventeen dollar. Seventeen or seventy? Seventeen. You mean seventeen? Oh. Or 70? 70. 70, okay, all right. It's 70 dollars. It, it's 70 dollars. Uh -huh. that's, that's, that's okay. That's okay. All right, there you go. Okay, thank you very much. Thanks for your participation. Okay, let's continue. Okay, we're going to do a listening part right here. But what about the time? Yeah, I think we have the time. Mm. Okay, let's do this. There's a listening section that I want you to check out. Okay, listening. Look at these. Listen to Tim and Sandra shopping. Complete the chart. Okay, there's the item, the price, do they buy it, and the reason. The inline skates. Son los patines, okay? Inline skates. There's a cap. There are some sunglasses and a watch. So you have to listen to this, take notes and write the price and then tell me, do they buy it? Lo compran o sí o no? Yes or no? And the reason. Igual, si lo compra, dígame por qué. Y si no lo compra, dígame también por qué. I'm going to play the track three times, okay? Voy a poner este track tres veces. Please, everybody, take notes. Por favor, apunten, porque es, es bastante información bien específica. No es un montón de información, pero sí, cada información es bien específica. Así que si usted confía demasiado en su memoria, probablemente se le olviden algunos detalles. Ok, so, again, the items are inline skates, cap, sunglasses, and watch. You have to listen for the price. You have to tell me if the person buys it or not, and you have to give me the reason why they buy it or the reason why they don't buy it. So I'm going to play the track. Let's listen. One, look at these. Can you hear that? Yes. Okay, yes. okay, from the beginning. Number one. One, look at these inline skates. I really want a pair. But they're pretty expensive. They're $165. Oh, yeah. You're right. $165 is too expensive. Two. Here's a great cap for you. That one? Hmm. Is it expensive? Not really. It's only $9.95. $9.95 is very reasonable. I think I'll take it. Three. What do you think of those sunglasses? They're only $16. They're nice. Try them on. Oh, no. I think they're too big. You're right. They are too big. Four. I love this watch. Do you like it? I do. Why don't you get it? Hmm. It's pretty expensive. It's $49.99. That price isn't bad. It's a nice watch. Yeah, maybe you're right. I think I'll get it. Okay, listen again. Second time. One. 
Look at these. Inline skates. I really want a pair. But they're pretty expensive. They're $165. Oh, yeah. You're right. $165 is too expensive. Two. Here's a great cap for you. That one? Hmm. Is it expensive? Not really. It's only $9.95. $9.95 is very reasonable. I think I'll take it. Three. What do you think of those sunglasses? They're only $16. They're nice. Try them on. Oh, no. I think they're too big. You're right. They are too big. Four. I love this watch. Do you like it? I do. Why don't you get it? Hmm. It's pretty expensive. It's $49.99. That price isn't bad. It's a nice watch. Yeah, maybe you're right. I think I'll get it. Okay, the last time. One. Look at these. Inline skates. I really want a pair. But they're pretty expensive. They're $165. Oh, yeah. You're right. $165 is too expensive. Two. Here's a great cap for you. That one? Hmm. Is it expensive? Not really. It's only $9.95. $9.95 is very reasonable. I think I'll take it. Three. What do you think of those sunglasses? They're only $16. They're nice. Try them on. Oh, no. I think they're too big. You're right. They are too big. Four. I love this watch. Do you like it? I do. Why don't you get it? Hmm. It's pretty expensive. It's $49.99. That price isn't bad. It's a nice watch. Yeah. Maybe you're right. I think I'll get it. to the conversations three times. So let's take a look. Teacher, no se escucha. Sorry, <laughs> I forgot. Okay, um, here we go. We, we uh, heard the conversations several times. So right now we're going to check answers. So the first one is the inline skates. What's the price? How much are they? Idalia. And then Catherine. 165. $165. Okay, it's $165. Yes. Okay, so ah, give me a moment. No animations. Okay, $165. Do they buy it? No. Why not? Expensive. That's expensive. Because they are too expensive. Okay, that's correct. Thank you. They are too expensive. Okay, Katherine, Andreina, the next one is yours. Number two, the cap. How much is it? Yes. 39. Can you repeat that, please? It's? Nine? 99. Uh, 9.95, actually. Okay, yes, 9.95. Do they buy it? Oh, <laughs> Okay, no problem. Who can help us with this one? Do they buy it? Raise your hand if you know the answer, please. Marjorie, and then Pablo Josue. No. The answer is no. Are you sure? No. Let's see what Pablo, Pablo says. What do you think, Pablo? Did they buy it? Yes, they buy the it. The answer is yes, okay. Why, what's the reason? Uh, uh, reasonable. Okay, in English? <laughs> <laughs> reasonable price. Okay, the price is reasonable. Reasonable. Uh -huh, yeah, the price is reasonable. Thank you, that's correct. What about number three? You have the sunglasses. How much are they? If you know the answer, please let me know. How much are the sunglasses? Mm -hmm. Who knows the answer? ¿Quién sabe la respuesta? Levante la mano, por favor, y me dice. Ok, Ada Verónica. 
16. dollars. Okay. Ah, siempre acordémonos no. de decir 16. O sea, el, el precio en dólares. Decimos dollars. Mm -hmm. Por ejemplo, aquí el primero es 165 dollars. 16 dollars. Ahora, si lleva centavos, entonces la palabra dollars ya no se vuelve necesaria. Como en la segunda, puedes decir 995. Nada más. Ok. So, 16 dollars. So, uh, Ada Verónica, do they buy it? Yes. Yes. Are you sure? <laughs> No, sure. Let's see. Okay, no problem. Isaac, did they buy it? Uh, no. Nope. No, why not? Because they are big. Because they're too big. Okay, so muy grandes. Okay, that's right. Very good. Thank you, Isaac. And the last one, the watch. How much is the watch? Uh, Forty-nine, nineteen dollars. Forty-nine, ninety dollars. Uh, um, um, Casi, 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 casi. Uh -huh. Who can help Isaac with this one? Do you know the answer? Okay, Pablo Josue. 45.99. 45.99. Mm, not exactly. Thank you. Marina Maya. The microphone. I believe 49.99. 40, 49.99, that's the price, 49.99. And Marina, do they buy it? No. No. Are you sure? Okay, who can help us here? Isaac. Pero permítame que le oh, okay, otra okay, okay. Dígame, dígame, dígame. Dígame. En, en, en la segunda línea, cuando dijimos... 995. 995. 995. Mm -hmm. okay, 995. Eh, lo confundo si yo lo, de, lo leo unidad por in, unidad la cantidad mm. para escribir 99.50. 99.50 sería 9.95. Ajá, pero yo, yo le digo si el punto lo corremos, entonces, ¿cómo leo el 99.50? 99.50. Si esa ¿Sí? fuera la cantidad, entonces sería... Digamos acá. Diríamos... 99.50. O puede decir... $99.50. Mm -hmm. Se puede decir de ambas maneras. $99.50 or $99.50. Gracias. Thank okay. you. Okay, you're welcome. So, um, Isaac, do they buy it? Yes, I buy it. They buy it. Okay, why? What's the uh, reason? Because I love this watch. They say, he said he loved, or she said she loved the watch. But what is the exact reason? Who can uh, help me with this? Maybe you're right. Uh -huh. the, she says, I love the, the watch. Okay, she says, I love the watch. But the real reason is the price isn't bad, she said. The price isn't bad. El precio no está mal. So what's next? Um, let's go over this. Okay, uh, section 3.5. We don't have much time. It's 8.43. So in this lesson, participants will listen to sentence stress in order to improve pronunciation. En esta clase, los participantes escucharán la fuerza de voz en oraciones con el objetivo de mejorar pronunciación. So what's that? Pronunciation, sentence stress. Sentence stress. What is the stress? The stress is la mayor fuerza de voz que aparece en palabras y también en oraciones. So listen and practice. Notice that the important words in a sentence have more stress. Look at that. The important words in a sentence have more stress. Okay. 
For example, when they say, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, they're perfect, okay? Ahí va la fuerza, they're perfect. I like that blue one, okay? I like that blue one. And the last one, they're not very attractive. Again, they're not very attractive. Let's listen to the sentences. Excuse me. They're perfect. I like the blue one. They're not very attractive. Mm -hmm. They're not very attractive. I need uh, a volunteer to read the four sentences, please. I need a volunteer. Okay, Luis Alfredo. Okay. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. They perfect. They're perfect. I, perfect. I like the blue one. Uh huh. They are not very attractive. They're not very attractive. Okay. There you go. That's the pronunciation right there. The sentence stress. Nothing too complicated. Okay. So what's next? 8.45, okay, yeah, we still have some time. So again, it goes like, excuse me, they're perfect. I like the blue one. They're not very attractive, and so on. Excuse me. They're perfect. I like the blue one. They're not very attractive. Let's go. Lesson objective. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation and will be introduced to comparisons with adjectives by expressing preferences. En esta clase, los participantes escucharán una conversación donde los adjetivos comparativos serán introducidos o presentados a través de preferencias. Take a look at this. This is section 3.7, I believe. Yeah, 3.7. Okay, so the conversation is right here. Which one do you prefer? ¿Cuál prefieres? Which one do you prefer? And there, there's the listening, listening practice section. So there's a conversation right here between Anne, Sue, and the clerk. So I need to read this conversation. I need two ladies and one gentleman, please. Marina, Marjorie, now one man, please. Who can help us? Falta uno. Okay, Jennifer Nusset, you're going to read that. So, uh, Marina, you are N. Marjorie, you are Sue. And Jennifer Nusset, you are the clerk. You only have two lines. Let's begin. Look, the, these jackets are really nice. Which one do you prefer? I like the wool one better. The wool one, why? It looks warmer. Okay, cuidado ahí. <laughs> le, tocaba, le, one, le tocaba a Marina esa, esa, esa línea. The wool one, why? Now Marjorie? Uh, mm, there's no price tag. Okay, okay. Well, I uh, like. Uh, creo que nos, creo que nos hemos enredado un poquito. Okay, veamos. <laughs> veamos. Okay, okay, it's veamos. Marina Maya, usted hace la parte de Anne. Okay. Marjorie Marilyn, la parte de Sue. Y luego Jennifer Nusset, la parte del clerk, que ya sería casi al final de la conversación, ¿verdad? Ah, okay. Okay, okay. Let's begin once again. Marina, please begin. Okay. Look, these jackets are really nice. Which one do you prefer? I like the wool one better. The wool one? Why? It looks warmer. Well. I like the leather one better. It's more stylish. Stylish than the wool one. Hmm. There's no price tag. 
Excuse me, how much is this jacket? Claire? Jennifer Nusset, your turn. Sorry, el micrófono estaba apagado. Okay. It's 49, $9. Would you like to three in one? To try it on. Okay, but be careful with the numbers, okay? This is 499 dollars. You have it here. 499 dollars. Almost five hundred dollars. Okay. So it's four hundred and ninety-nine dollars. And Anne says Oh mm -hmm. no, that's okay. But thanks anyway. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay, so the conversation goes like this. Anne says, Look, these jackets are really nice. Which one do you prefer? And Sue says, I like the wool one better. Se me gusta más el de lana. Okay, or la de lana en este caso, porque una chaqueta. La de lana, the wool one better. And uh, Anne says, the wool one? Why? Sue says, it looks warmer. Se ve más calientita. Okay, Anne says, well, I like the leather one better. A mí me gusta, dice, la... Chaqueta, ¿verdad? De cuero. The leather one, pero la de cuero. It's more stylish than the wool one, ¿verdad? Tiene más estilo que la de lana. Sue says, hmm, there is no price tag. What is that? No tiene viñeta donde está el precio. Ese es el price tag. There's no price tag. So Anne says, excuse me, how much is this jacket? The clerk says, it's $499. Would you like to try it on? Le gustaría probársela, right? Would you like to try it on? And Anne says, ah, uh, no, that's okay, but thanks anyway. And the clerk says, you're welcome. Okay, that's really expensive. We're going to listen to the conversation now. Look, these jackets are really nice. Which one do you prefer? I like the wool one better. The wool one? Why? It looks warmer. Well, I like the leather one better. It's more stylish than the wool one. Hmm, there's no price tag. Excuse me, how much is this jacket? It's $499. Would you like to try it on? Uh, no, that's okay. But thanks anyway. You're welcome. Okay, so that's a conversation right there. Page and, 19, exercise nine. Uh, okay, there's more right here. Okay, word power materials. We're going to do this exercise before we finish the class. What are these things made of? Identify each one. Use the words from the list. Ada Veronica. Yeah. Gold ring. 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 Okay, good. Yeah. There's an example. A plastic bracelet, number two, a gold ring. Okay, un anillo de oro. That's a gold ring. Thank you. Marina Amaya, number three. Marina, está por aquí? Micrófono? Sí, sí, sí. Ok, ok, ok. Corbata es, ¿verdad? Yes, a tie. Uh, a tie. Uh -huh. Es una corbata. Tie. Aquí dice, ¿verdad? A tie. A tie. A silk tie. A silk tie. Una corbata de seda. Ok, a silk tie. Thank you. Thank you, Marina. Idalia, number four. Mm, cotton, cotton socks. Cotton socks. Probably not. It's a different word. Uh? Cotton socks. It's it's a different word. Wool. Wool socks. Okay, you mm -hmm. have wool socks. Wool socks. Correct. Okay, very good. 
Telana, ¿verdad? Ok, Luis Alfredo and then Catherine Andreina. Luis Alfredo, number five, please. Uh, number five is a rubber jacket. A leather jacket. Ok, una chaqueta de cuero. A leather jacket. Very good. What about number six? Uh, Catherine Andreina. Ok, yeah. Uh, cotton shirt. A cotton shirt. That is correct. Very good. Good. Number seven. Re recordemos siempre silenciar el micrófono cuando haya concluido nuestra participación. Ok, you have a cotton shirt. Very good. Um, Jennifer Nusset, number seven, please. Silver earrings. Silver earrings, ok. Uh -huh. de plata. Silver earrings. And number eight, a la Verónica. Plastic boot. Plastic boots. It's not plastic. It's a different word. Mm -hmm. Let's see what Isaac says. It is rubber, rubber boots. Rubber boots. Okay, rubber, so rubber boots. boots. Yeah, that's right. Rubber boots. What do you What do Goma. So uh, rubber boots. There you go. So you have a plastic bracelet, a gold ring, a silk tie, una corbata de seda, wool socks, que serían calcetines de lana, a leather jacket, una chaqueta de cuero, a cotton shirt, una camisa de algodón, silver earrings, ¿verdad? aritos de plata, and rubber boots, que serían botas de goma, ¿verdad? O botas de hule. That's it. Rubber boots right there. Okay. Um, tomorrow we're going to go over the next part, which is this. By the end of this lesson, this will be tomorrow, you will be able to comprehend and use comparative adjectives. Okay. Not very difficult. It's actually very easy and very nice to do. So... Uh, some advice, un poco, consejito, ¿verdad? Recuerden siempre que tenían que ir trabajando los ejercicios de la plataforma. Y no solo son los ejercicios los que hay que hacer. Cada video que aparece hay que verlo completo para que tome, le saque ahí el cheque verde, el verde, ¿verdad? Que todo eso es considerado como progreso del curso. De acuerdo, así que procuren que eso no se les acumule, procuren no tardarse en hacerlo porque después les va a tocar hacerlo, digamos, a la carrera, ¿verdad? Probablemente bajo estrés y no es la forma correcta, ¿verdad? La cuestión es que lo tomemos eh, con un poquito de tranquilidad, pero que sea constante, que lo vayamos haciendo. Les digo, eh, ustedes han notado, ¿verdad? En la administración del curso a veces les recuerdan, les dicen, mire, les falta esta parte, les falta aquella parte, por favor, complete esto, por favor, complete lo otro. ¿De acuerdo? Así que no, no permitamos que eso no suceda. En su lugar, pues, eh, vamos completando todos y cada uno de los ejercicios para que después no haya problema. ¿De acuerdo? sumamente importante. Lo otro es, eh, quisiera invitarles nuevamente a que participen de forma activa, porque seguido me pasa, ¿verdad?, que las personas que me participan las puedo contar con los dedos de una mano. Nosotros ahí nada más viendo. Así que, por favor, traten de participar en cada una de las clases. Y lo último, acuérdense que hay dos cosas aquí que tenemos que ver. Uno es el nombre completo. Aquí ven la lista de participantes. Creo que hay un par por acá. Bueno, no, quizás ya lo cambiaron. No, bueno, creo que estamos bastante bien. Me parecía que alguien había entrado solo con un nombre y un, un, un apellido. Bueno, sí, no es así. Están todos con nombres y apellidos. Y lo otro es la cámara. Acuérdense que en la medida de lo posible, uno de los requisitos es que tengamos la cámara encendida. Así que les queda eso, ¿verdad? Eh como comentarios. Voy a pasar asistencia ya a los últimos que me faltan. Sería Blanca Esmeralda Flores Ortez. Are you here? Ahí está. Present. Thank you. Consuelo Enriqueta Aquino de Salazar. Present teacher. Ok, thank you. 
Tell me Alexandra Ramos Cruz. Present teacher. Thank you. Jennifer Nusset, ya vi que por ahí anda. Eh, Oscar Present. Ma Thank you. Oscar Mauricio Rivera Aguilar. Present teacher. Thank you. Pablo Josué Cornejo Ramírez. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Okay. So we're going to stop right here. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night.